A man who dragged another man behind his van will spend the next 50 years behind bars for his crime. Eric Bridges was sentenced today after he pleaded guilty to attempted murder and kidnapping back in November. News for Jackson reporter Joe McLean joins us now live from downtown. And Joe, during that sentencing hearing, we learned more about the victim's condition. Yeah, Mary, the victim was actually wheeled into the courtroom today. It represents the first time he's left the rehabilitation facility since the crime happened in 2019. Now, his family has asked that we not uh, release his name, so we're obviously obliging the family there. Bridges, uh, meanwhile, he uh, beat the victim in 2019, then tied him to the back of his van uh, during this crime before driving two blocks down the road, dragging the victim. Now, Bridges then cut him off the bumper and left him for dead. During the sentencing hearing, the, the victim was wheeled, as I said, in front of the judge. His family spoke out about the state he's in now because of the attack. The victim actually spent four months in a coma and couldn't speak for eight months after he woke up. Now, he still can't walk, obviously, and, and he eats through a feeding tube. He spent almost four, uh, almost the past four years under constant care. Uh, the victim's brother said he hopes someday he'll be able to walk again and be able to leave the care facility at some point. The homicide detective on the case also testified today, saying he didn't expect the victim to even survive the attack. Now, the state used all of these arguments to push for a 50-year sentence for Bridges. Now, Bridges' uh, defense attorneys, though, they noted his troubling childhood, arguing that his background should be uh, sort of a mitigating factor in calling for a reduced sentence. The defense actually suggested a 20-year sentence for the attack. Well, the judge called the attack true torture and said that just the heinousness of the attack out far outweighs any uh, mitigating factor in Bridges past. Bridges, meanwhile, didn't comment on the sen sentence. He was taken out of the courtroom immediately after the hearing. Reporting live, I'm Joe McLean, Channel 4, The Local Station.